In this video, we'll write the atomic orbital diagram for chlorine. And before we do that, we should write the electron configuration. And we'll just follow this pattern here on the periodic table. Chlorine has an atomic number of 17. That means it has 17 protons. And since it's neutral, like all of the elements on the periodic table, it also has 17 electrons. So that's what we're going to work with here. Chlorine on the periodic table, that's right here. So we start with the first energy level. We have 1s1, 1s2. Then we go to the second energy level, 2s1, 2s2. Then we're at 2p, p holds 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2p, 6, 3s1, 3s2. We're in the third energy level. And then we go 3p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3p, 5. And if you count these electrons up, we have 17 electrons in our configuration. So now we can write the atomic orbital diagram for chlorine. So really all we're trying to do here is show where the electrons are in relationship to the nucleus of the chlorine atom, how they're arranged around the chlorine atom. That's what the configuration does and that's what the diagram here, the orbital diagram does. So you could think of the nucleus as being right here and we have 1s, 2s, so we have these energy levels around it and think of them as shells. So we have 1s2, so we put two electrons opposite directions there, 2s2, 2p6, we spread them out first and then we pair them up, 3s2, and then 3p5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the orbital diagram for chlorine. You'll also see it written like this in kind of a horizontal fashion. It's the same thing, just written horizontally. And again, we're just trying to describe where those electrons are around the nucleus of the chlorine atom. This is Dr. B with the Atomic Orbital Diagram for Chlorine. Thanks for watching.